Hi guys, uh, welcome to uh, another video from uh, Craig's Outdoors Adventures. I haven't been out much in the last uh, couple of weeks, so I thought I'd do a, a little video on my um, LK35, the modifications that I've made, and the equipment that I carry for, um, for the coming months. Um, Bushcraft, I'm uh, I'm new to the game, so to speak. Uh, I got into it by accident. Um, I'm a keen fisherman, and I wanted to do some uh, fishing, camping um, trips, which got me watching some videos on YouTube. And before you knew it, um, I'm I'm a bushcrafter as well as a fisherman. So some of the equipment I've got, I've never actually used. Some of it's quite new. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm planning on getting out very, very soon again. Um, my last trip was with the Bushcraft group in Wales and had a, a fantastic uh, evening. Um, and uh, really looking forward to doing it again. So let's make a start. So it's the LK35, as I've mentioned. I've uh, changed the frame for a um, aluminium frame. It's Bigger than the, um, the standard frame, but it's a lot lighter. <clears throat> I've got the um, the waist belt. Uh, the bag and the waist belt come from uh, Military Mart. Um, I've tied the, uh, the belt on with power code. And then here I've got a uh, just a, a pouch where I keep a few bits in that I, uh, I'll show you in a sec. <coughs> just a few basics in here. Um, main pouch has a notepad and pencil. Oh god. First aid kit. A lifesaver first aid kit. Uh, a sharpie and then I've got my little sharpening stone in here as well. On the bottom I have my mat. This is a Firmalite, rest Z Lite, um, and that just slots on the <coughs> under the bag and on the on the bottom plate. It's not tied on to anything. The weight of the bag holds that in place. Side pouches again from Military Mart. What I've done with these is. I've actually sewn on the webbing that come with the pouches rather than sewing them completely to the side of the bag. So uh, on the back I keep my uh, my backhoe uh, Laplander that just slots in the side, easy access and hooks over the top. I've also got a, uh, a mat for kneeling on. And then in the side pouches on the on this side, I have. I'm just hoping you can see this. I'm not in the man cave today. I have a cup, some tea and coffee, hot chocolate, Pathfinder bottle, cup, Pathfinder cup. They all nest together. Oh, um, for emergencies. Listen purposes only, of course. Uh, I have a spork hanging lid and a little hanging hook. So that's all in that pocket. Set these over here out of the way. On the other side. Here. I've just got some odds and sods. I've got some um, cleaning wipes for your hands, you know, the messes we get in. I've got a, a light, a, uh, a USB rechargeable light, also doubles up as a phone charger. A couple of little knives, uh, the Opnos, and uh, number eight and four, five. They just use your own camp. 
a couple of carving knives uh, these are the remora um, knives and spoon got a, a soya mini water filter some sandpaper <laughs> and some more tea coffee and obviously you know hot chocolates that we need on these cold evenings so that's in the side compartment okay and then on the top is my tarp um, to be honest we can put a lot more on top if needed the bag is like a TARDIS you really can't uh, can't follow through uh, this is the, the DD 3x3 tarp, great bit of kit, I've also got um, some power cord in there and some tent pegs. Uh, into the main compartment, that's where the magic happens. Uh, my axe, small woodland axe, this come from Wilds Outdoors, um, it's just a nice size for me, I like it, it's good. I've used it for a bit of carving, as you can tell by my finger. Um, it's um, yeah, it's, it's a good little axe. Um, I quite like it. Quite recommend it. It's not expensive. I think it was forty quid delivered. Right in here, I've got a snug pack stash of G two pocket size um, shelter. Um, I love this little thing. Um, I normally take it out walking with me and the wife and the dog. Um, I can use it as a, a quick um, a quick shelter. It can be a emergency bivy. Um, it's got poppers down the side. Uh, I can use it for a cover to go over my bag, or I use it uh, when I've got my main kit with me. I just use it to go under my my hammock to keep my feet and my bits clean. But great bit of kit. Next is my my cooking my frying pan. In here, I've just got ah, coffee and filter for them uh, cold mornings. Another spork, uh, some ketchup, a pair of tongs for cooking, a small spatula, it's a handle for the frying pan, and in a bit of oil. You see that? And then in here, I've got some spices, some salt, pepper, some steak, some chili, a bit of washing up liquid for cleaning, and a a, a pad for cleaning and washing down. And uh, I've just got some cooking oil. This is just in the um, in the uh, the cooking bottle. That's all my, my cooking, or my basic cooking set. Okay, what we got next? Uh, next is my hammock. This is the Snug Pack uh, Tropical Hammock. Uh, I've used it a couple of times now. Um, I, I like it, um, very easy, quick to set up very comfortable it's a large you know i'm not the smallest of people um i've got plenty of space in there um i felt very safe so i can't fault it and yeah i've got a um a seat to summit um travel um sleeping bag liner what i use this for is i put the, the firm arrest light mat inside this so any sweat or anything like that, you know, sticks to this rather than onto the mat. It doesn't come sticky. Uh, this was, um, I think I picked this one up at a car boot sale for a couple of quid. What are we going here next? Ah. A cup. A tinder pouch. In here. I haven't got much in here in the moment. Uh, a little bit of fat wood couple of fire lighters, a bit of old man's beard, a tea light candle, some charcoal, 
matches and a lighter. So plenty of stuff here just to get a fire going. What we got next up? Oh, next in here we've got a, a smart water bottle. This works with the Soya Mini. They fit together, it's quite good. The Zebra Billy can. Um, this is new when you come this week. Uh, for cooking, I've ordered a bit of uh, metal to make a metal clips for it. But that'll be coming with me at all times going forward. What have we got next? Oh, Possible's pouch. In year, I've mainly I've got a headlight, spare batteries, some power cord, and that's about it in there. Oh, a phone charger, a phone charger is where to go with the other light. What comes up next? Oh, a little camera more travel pillow. I like to have a uh, Something for my head, it doesn't have to be too big, just a little bit. Okay, next we got my my knife. Uh, my knife is just the very basic um, Mora um, stainless knife, um, I got about 12 quid to buy. Um, it does everything I need, but I do have a, uh, a new knife on order from Long Dog Smithy that's doing this week, so I'm looking forward to receiving that. My sheath is by red kite um it's a fantastic bit of work a uh, chap called uh, toby uh, he's on facebook i'll try and find a link and get you to him but he does some fantastic work absolutely love it here is uh my UCO candle. I'm still not 100% honest. I've used it a couple of times. Um, and I don't know, you know. I guess they do what they say on the tin, but they're not as robust or as sturdy as I was hoping. Uh, I've got a, a nice cover on it from uh, from Toby again. And then just a cloth for using for washing down or cleaning up. Next we got me Snug Pack Under Blanket. This is, I haven't used this yet. And last time I camped, I just used the mat and the sleeping bag. But even though it was midsummer, um, early hours of the morning, my arms were getting a bit chilly when I came off the mat. So I thought for the winter months, I definitely needed a um, an under blanket. And then we've got a snug pack hammock quilt. Um, this <laughs> I ordered by mistake. I thought I was ordering the under blanket, but this turned up. I took it out of the packet, I had a look at it, and I absolutely loved it. So the sleeping bag is gone, and I'm now using the quilt. Uh, yeah, I've just got. Uh, what's in here? Oh, a pair of gloves, a hat, big pair of socks and some thermos, some Kira bottoms and just a cheap top that I've picked up just in case it gets very cold when I'm out one night I'll probably chuck a t-shirt, a clean t-shirt and a pair of uh, another pair of socks in there for the next camp have a clean top in the mornings. Here we go. Right, next, what we got in here? Oh, here's my um, my grill. It also doubles up as a little table. Um, this came off uh, Amazon, I think it was. Um, all comes out. It's a bit fiddly to set up, but once it's up, it works great. And again, you know, you can use that. I'm not going to set it up now, but it's um, it's a good bit of kit. And all folds up nice and small, easy for transportation. Uh, so, um, again, nothing expensive. I think this was 20 quid off Amazon. Um, but, you know, again, lightweight, folds down small, takes a few minutes to set up. 
great for what I need. And then I've just got a, a wash bag, a, uh, a microfiber towel, uh, some ham gel, I must these days, some tissues, toothbrush, toothpaste, just the basics, a bit of deodorant, and a bit of body wash towel off, no water required. I haven't tried this yet, but it got good, so I thought I'd give it a go. Went back in. Uh, anything else we got in here? Oh, this is just a, a bag for the, um, the dirty cups to go back in once they've been on the fire. Ah, here's my little One Tigress um, firebox. Perfect for one or two people. Great little size, overly heavy. I have um, popped in a little grow to go with it that I'd use. Um, but these, to be honest, they're cheap. Again, 20 quid. I've used it numerous times um, when I've been out for the day. Again, can't fault them for the money. I've got a bit of fat wood that my mate Paul gave me. Cheers, Paul. A food for free book. When we get bored or we're having to wander about to see what we can find. I'm watching. Oh, this is a little uh, bushcraft survival tin I was bought as a gift. So it always stays in my bag. I haven't used it yet, but you never know. In there, it's power code, candle, some fishing line, uh, another fire lighting um, method, compass, some sewing equipment, and some first aid equipment again. Always comes in handy. It's lightweight, you know, you don't know what's in the bag. And basically, that is it. That is it. But as you can see, you can get a lot of stuff. I'm just going to take you for a walk with me. You can get a lot of stuff in the LK35. Um, there's still space for more. I can put more blankets, clothing on the top and the bottom. Um, they're a fantastic bit of kit in my eyes. I haven't weighed this. Um, if I'm going out to camp, obviously my food will go into the, the billy can. I'll have probably an extra couple of litres of water with me and a few cans of beer. But um, yeah, that is what I carry with me. Again, in the LK35, of course. Got to have a Welsh flag on there. Why wouldn't you? there we go so I hope you find this uh, this helpful um, I don't think I need to get any more kit um, but you never know if something props up that I like to look at or my next camp I find something that I need or something that I don't use then I will move them on and, and replace as needed but I think I'm pretty much covered Uh, yeah, so um, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions on any of the equipment I'm using, drop me a message. Um, I will find the links for where I've bought them from. If I can, some of them have come off second hand off uh, trading posts, but if I can help, I will. Just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.